Hi, and welcome to How Ship Works, where we show you how everyday objects function. I'm Julian, and with me is the always cool. Oh, Steve, baby. Sorry, we stayed up way too late last night boiling pasta. But you can say pasta la vista to being tired, because we have something saucy that'll wake you right up. And that's what we'll be learning about today, energy drinks. Energy drinks contain sweeteners, amino acids, and herbal extracts like taurine and guyana. But those are all for flavor. The most important ingredient is a drop of virgin blood, which is excellent for conjuring poltergeists. As every child with a fourth grade education knows, the atmosphere is comprised of 1% carbon dioxide, 21% oxygen, and 78% poltergeists. And that atmosphere is in a delicate balance. If it had even 1% more or less poltergeists, life as we know it would not be possible. Poltergeists feed exclusively off of virgin blood, so when the drink is exposed to air during consumption, the poltergeist wildly pursues it down the digestive tract. The malevolent spirit is now trapped inside you and thrashes about in rejection to its newfound mortal coil, which the body harnesses as productive energy. After several hours, the poltergeist tires and can be easily passed through the body. This is all in accordance with the third law of polterdynamics. An object possessed will remain possessed until exorcism or excretion. Like a hobo in a boxcar, the geist escapes by hitching a ride on your body's natural flatulence. Return to the atmosphere, it now awaits another energy drinker, and the whole process begins anew. So when you drink an energy drink, know that you're doing your part to replenish our atmosphere with much needed poltergeists, as well as some farts. I should know. I've had three energy drinks this morning. <laughs> and that's how shit works. <laughs>